is this misconception that Belize City is so dangerous. In this video, myself and a beautiful friend of mine and so are going to show you some of the safest and some of the coolest places that you can stay, you can chill, you can drink and you can eat in Belize City. My name is Miki. My name is Anto. Keep, Keep watching. watching. I made a video where I delved into the question of whether Belize City is dangerous with the help of some wonderful Belize City residents. Some of the answers given... So it said it has so many gangs that are currently beefing or having different issues and problems. Sometimes if you pass around the areas where the guys are giving trouble, maybe they see the enemy fly past and you at this at that place at the same time, mm -hmm. then you're going to hear some gunshot or stuff. I don't recommend you to go in the city. I would prefer you go to the Keys. They can't pay me to live in the city. I felt planted the seed of fear of Belize City in most tourists. This video is to show that it's not all doom and gloom in Belize City. Hello everyone, Vicky here. Welcome to the channel where I share my experience of the places that I am working, which at the moment is Belize in Central America. In this video, myself and a beautiful friend of mine, we are going to take you to one of the safest places that you can chill in Belize City. You know, Belize City is not all doom and gloom, but before we go on, I'll let my beautiful friend introduce herself and her channel. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Antho. I also have a YouTube channel by the name of Antho's Vlogs and my channel is all about exploring different places so if that is something you're interested in doing, subscribe to the channel. A lot of people think Belize City is very dangerous and cannot like casually, you know, come here and you know, chill out, have a family time. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? To be honest, I think it's safe enough. Um, I think that there's a lot to do. You will find in the evening times especially that you have people out here exercising, people coming to chill and relax with their families and friends, even play. Um, so I think that the area is safe, but it's just that you always have to be on the lookout. Expect the unexpected at all times. One thing I like about this area is one the houses is it a rich area yeah i i'm not i'm not really sure if it is but the houses are huge for sure so i yeah. think that i would say maybe like middle class middle to upper class, class yeah. because they have some very very huge houses here in this area all right yeah them some of the houses that are over here really huge and really nice um and it looks like this place don't really flood well that's from the way I'm looking at things, I don't think they have issues with flood, and even though they are close to the sea. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, this spot, if you have like family, you can come around here and just chill and without having to think about your safety. That's but in general, everywhere you go, you have to be careful of you know how you show your valuables and stuff like that isn't it that's why i said like if you're coming to belize it, it, and i think it's anywhere in the world to be honest if you're going to a place try not to be so you know bossy i would say you know just to attract the thieves flamboyant you know what i mean right yeah, try not so to be just, flamboyant yeah. you know be try to fit in fit at in, all that's times that's, that's right <laughs> One thing about Princess Margaret Street, I'll confirm if that's the street that we are on, mm -hmm. is it's got a lot of bar and restaurants. And I want to ask Anto, have you been to any of these bars around here? Yes, I have. I've actually been to two thus far. Um, the Lucas Bar and yeah. also the Midtown Bar. They're pretty, pretty good. Yeah, both of these bars are so amazing. I've actually been to Luca Bar and we are at the entrance of Luca Bar and we're going to show you how nice this place looks. Beautiful. What I like about Luca restaurant and bar is it makes me feel so liberated. I don't know, it feels so liberating because um, you have the wind, right? Right. And then what about the water, being close to the water? For me, I think it's 
relaxing. Um, you know, after a long day of work, it's something good to come and, you know, just chill. Either you're gonna have a, uh, you know, a drink or you're gonna eat. But the breeze is right, the music is right, the ambience is great, you know. I love it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's just, uh, you say something really, it's so therapeutic, isn't it? When you listen to the sea yes. and you are eating. And for some reason, it makes you feel rich. <laughs> yes. so, yeah, that's a yes. bonus. <laughs> Your impression of Midtown? I love it. Yeah. I love it. The food is delicious. Yeah. The staffs are very friendly. Yeah. Um, the ambience as well. Yes. That's an A1 as well. I love it. I love it. So <laughs> it's got a link to Luca Bar. Luca used to be called our bar. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they have the same, the same like touch to it. Um, I like the bar in the Midtown too. Yeah. So it's really nice. And um, the only thing you don't have over here is the sea. But I still have the you know, the, the breeze coming towards you and, and stuff the music like as well. So yeah. This is like the slow, um, low music, but it's still nice. Um, as you see, well, as they can see, when they have the little birthday parties, mm -hmm. people might come there for birthdays, um, celebration and so forth. It's really nice. Yeah. So you see, Felicity is not all doom and gloom. If you look at this area, it's just so nice and it's so vibrant. And I'm telling you, in the evening, it's so buzzing over here as well. So on weekends, you would find like a lot of people coming here to chill. You have different bars straight across. Yeah. Um, um, so it, it, it's a fun and vibes the place to be at night, to be yeah, honest, yeah. in Belize City. Yeah. lounge is different isn't it yes it is um, so you it's a place where you just come and you smoke mm -hmm. yeah and it's all like legal isn't it it is I mean basically it's just water with some flavoring oh and, right. um, you know not only smoke but you could yeah eat you could drink okay. you know yeah and it smells really nice yes. over there and I think it's a place where you can just come and chill yes, and is. can you believe it's all in Belize City and I'm telling you, when you come to a place like that, it's got a nice security um, at the door. And you know what? They follow the COVID-19 protocol so well. Strict. Really strict. Yep. You have to book and then you have to come in. And as you saw, you saw some people, like two people. Sometimes it's a group of friends and they're all having fun, isn't it? Yeah. Is it something that you want to try? I really do want to try it in Belize. I've tried it before, but I've never tried it in Belize. And oh, I always okay. said that I wanted to go to this lounge yeah. because it gives you a different vibe. Yeah. And you know, this is still early. Um, mm -hmm. If like we were to come back here about six, seven, eight o'clock, the place will be packed, guys. Like, and this it will is be one of, Yes. Yeah. This is like one of the most, I would say like, um, well-known place, I would okay. say, because a lot of people, All a right. lot of people, I always go to that, um, right. that yeah. bar. Yeah, it looks so good. Tried most pizza? I've never. I've never. never. It's <laughs> one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Really? Yeah, like it's it's really nice. It's worth it. I like the vibe over here. They've got like kids playground over I love here. It for that. Yeah, and it's next to the sea. 
Everything next to the sea is bonus, isn't it? Mm, another bonus, yeah. another plus. It's the kiss playground mm -hmm. and it's like one of the first I've seen. What yep. do you think? A lot of people don't really cater for children. You know in the States, like if you go to like McDonald's and so forth, you might find a little play area. I've realized that here in Belize City, we hardly find that. So to see something like this, I think it's yeah. really, really good. Really good yeah. It's a good way to get people to come to you come as well. Because, and at least yeah. just for the children to have fun, you know, when the adults want to relax, they could always go over to the playground and just, you know, have fun. Yeah. So that's bonus. <laughs> yep. We are enjoying the breeze and the beautiful walk. That's it. We're having <laughs> a walk. Um, one thing I realized is when you come over here in the morning, have you ever been here during the morning time? Yes, I have. Yeah, you have. Yes, I um, have. Were you exercising? <laughs> yes, I was. Oh, all right. Yeah, that, that's one thing I, I realized. Like, I've, I've been lucky to be here in the mornings mm -hmm. and you see a lot of people exercising in the, you know, at the shores. In the evening as well. And in the evening. Yep. Why do you think people do that, this area? I think uh, there's a lot, we don't have a lot of traffic uh -huh. um, during those times. Yeah. And I just feel like it's, I don't know, it's, it's the seaside, it's the relaxing, you have yeah. the sidewalks. Yeah. It's breezy, isn't it? Yes. It's breezy, so yeah. I guess it will be fun to just Someone's exercise right. over here. Right. Um, as you can see, someone behind us is riding. And Belizeans lo love to ride as well. That's one thing I've realized. People ride to go everywhere, to church, to school, to the job, to work, anywhere you're gonna find people with their bicycle. Yeah. Golden Bay Hotel. From outside, what do you think? I think it's a beautiful place. It looks relaxing. I haven't been there, but I have um, visited the shopping center oh, okay. and it's really nice so I can just imagine what the hotel is like. <laughs> yeah. um, I have been in and it's I think it's the most luxurious place I've been. I oh, thought nice. I've been to yeah it's, it's got this um, penthouse it's got a presidential suite mm -hmm. and then it's got a penthouse and it's got its own balcony looking over the sea over oh, wow. here so yeah it's really beautiful and it's one of the places that if your budget can stretch you can come and stay and it's in Belize city and you don't have to be worried you know you don't have to worry about security and stuff like that so that's one of the nicest places that you can stay in Belize city and it's also close to the BTL park it's BTL close park, to the yeah. bars that we, and restaurants that we just passed so yeah. if you come here you could always just take a relaxing walk yeah. straight down yeah straight down <laughs> Can you believe it? This is Belize City. It is. So Belize City is not all that dangerous. It's not everything that is dangerous. No, it's not. Like my video said, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is the good side that you can come and you can enjoy. But it's not as bad as it seems. Yes, a lot of things might happen in the city, but it's not as bad. Belize, is, there's still some good in Belize. You understand? You still could walk free. As I said before, just don't try to be that yeah. Both the time yeah. and stuff. Just fit yeah. in. You're gonna Just enjoy. You will enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to close down this video. Yeah. Um, where do people find you and your amazing work? <laughs> all right. So you guys could find me on YouTube at Anta's Vlogs. That's where you'll find all my videos. I do videos about Belize, Grenada, or if I go places in general, I will vlog it. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out and make sure that you guys are subscribed to his channel. He has great videos, he's an amazing person and I just feel like yeah. Thank should. you very much, <laughs> thank welcome. you very much. So check Ant up, um, she does a lot about Belize as well mm -hmm. and she is going to be doing it for a long time. Yes, and thank you very much for checking out and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to come on my journey of experience thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye, bye.